Moshi Moshi, my gamers, and welcome back to Hawkeye Style Whale. Today we are in Sunday's Mansion with Adventuring and Dr. Wichio. The head of the Ophel in Panacoli, who seems to find you in Chojuring, invites you to a private chat. That is exactly what you need. To meet him, you visit the Dwellight Pattern with Dr. Wichio. Having no inkling of the perils that lies ahead of you, talk to Hendrik the guard and break on your two adventure at the Dwelling Pavilion. Talking to the child who happens to be a guard? Are you old enough for me? Hey you two! That's a place of business. No entry! I was requested by Mr. Sunday to bring him the suspect. My name is Ratio. He should have mentioned it to you. Oh, I remember you. Veritas Ratio. Your punch virtual particle clock is impressive. Excuse me? Uh, the one on your head. Of course, it's nothing compared to my full pocket dimensional annihilating power armor of the Mobile Knights. Right, and as I mentioned, that fantasy raiment of yours doesn't exist. That's because you can't see it. Like I say, only family can see the glory of the Mobile Knights. Ugh, enough. Get going. Don't keep Mr. Sunday waiting. <sighs> it seems like the idiocy index here is no better than it is out there. Uh, oh, it opened. Okay, just like that. <laughs> A dead end? The door is shut tight. Looks like we're on our own. I mean, there isn't a door. How did you get in before? For security reasons, the family built the administrative site deep in the dreamscape, with the mechanisms hidden in these Nightingale statues. The direction of the statues can be controlled. On the previous occasion, an attendant named Kona had gone to the side room to verify something before setting the statues in the correct position. Well, maybe we should do the same. Let's go and take a look. Of course, we can also use brute force. Hmm, I only that be necessary. And there's a chest here. Alright, so let's go. Put that. I'll take it. And put that. You look about money rest in my fingers. Now, verifying the statues. Wait, that's it? Really? Um, okay. But, around this place. This seems pretty interesting. Open. Oh, look at this. Oh, we're gonna kill like some enemies one way. Oh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna fight them. I mean, I could, just for content. But no, I just wanna get past to all of them. Okay, let's test this one to the other side. Downwards. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, you have a chest? I mean, I would fight you. Wait, where do I go from here then? No, I don't want to go here. Hold on, let me go down. Okay, I waste one for no win for a chest. That I could do in a off camera. Let me touch that again. And then let's start with this one. Oh yeah, there are some enemies on here. I don't care about you. You could fuck off. You this way, this way, this way. That one's just staying like he's meditating. I don't care. Now we are here. Six nightingales facing in different directions. An obvious hint. Mm. But are these nightingales? They are. What's wrong? How can nightingales be so huge? <laughs> they look more like torment eagles to me. There are no eagles in the five families, only nightingales. <sighs> Why am I wasting time with you on this? Hmm. The two attempts to the path they came from. It seems that all it takes is door open is returning to such an original position. Now look at those statues. I gotta focus on that. This one, it's gotta turn. Turn. One more time. And there we go. Now we got that down. That one's facing forward, which that one is correct. And this one is facing left. That one is also correct. Now that one. Oh wait, these two needs to look straight. So counterclockwise. You look that way. And you, you look this way. 
and this one is looking white so you need to turn that way yeah am I correct yes I am just as I thought here's the correct answer a truly miraculous discovery perhaps I should offer you the chance to join the genius society really mm. <laughs> Well, I thought you'd given up on that already. I was being sarcastic. Can't you tell? Uh, no. I'm sorry. Hmm. I mean, that would be cool. I got a one. What am I walking for? Let's keep on walking here to the dream city all day. Oh, oh yeah. Impressive. <laughs> well, so much for Mr. Sunday's reserved, virtuous image. Do you need me to remind you? We're in a dreamscape. No matter how grand the mansion looks, it'll not affect Penacone. Stop wasting your time nitpicking the family here. Yeah, you're right. The only way to destroy the family is death. <laughs> Sunday must have thought the same. Let's head down. Yeah, heading down. It's just right there. Ooh, can't even jump around it. Like this game is little. Crash with characters? I could. Uh, you just stand there. You know what? I'll just do. I'll do some puzzles. That's fine by me. Tick tock. Do you know about Bell that controls the dreams from the shadows? What of the dreams edge? In the blue, the dreams gate. Do you know the tick tock secret fire secret ritual? Tick tock. They have fooled you. Dear guests, come and hear the truth. I shall show you how truly filthy the dark of the apparently is. I like joy. Black sweat. Different puzzle. Okay. That's one way out of there. Now he turns around. There you go, got that one. That was easy to figure it out. Okay, puzzle. Tick tock, think about it. These stories are sing like, how could I believe such deeds? I'm sure those just cause he these dream up by some big great tub, but they must be fake, right? I mean you can say that. And you get some J's too. Why are doing that? Okay, I'm gonna jump back to the main character where for the story for now. And while walking around, there are definitely some chests. Spank anchor activate. Oh yeah, there's some chests around this area. No reward with no risk. I'll take it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so the objective here is I'm supposed to do to go over there, but I'm doing this because they're Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm running away from these enemies. Oh, you try to snipe me, you missed. Now we're in this area. Oh, okay, hold up. Let me get this spot. I mean, it's all activated. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Shut up, buddy. I got one of you guys. Seems to be locked down, yo. Hold on. Huh? <laughs> What's wrong? Are we heading the wrong way? No, but this door is locked. My friend? Did you really make an appointment with him? It's a trial. You got to prove your worth to Sunday before you can speak with him. If I'm not wrong, we need to find a way to open this door in the hall or this place will be our prison. Oh, an escape room. <laughs> My favorite. Get serious. I've no time for games. Let's head back. The hint is probably in that prominent sandpit. <laughs> what wow. those butts? Oh, that's an enormous sandpit. I'd love to build a tall building for myself. Once I have enough savings. It's like Dr. Gamble a lot. Oh, look. There's a noticeable gap in the model. I believe you're right. There wasn't a gap before. That man must have done it intentionally. Well, with your brilliant mind, you shouldn't have any trouble recalling what was here last time. Right, Doctor? Of course. Let's look around. When I see it, I will know it. Mm, yeah. Fine. Fine. Why do I feel that we're pursuing a degree in burglary now? Hmm, buddy. Chirp, how do you find when I was sit so well? Huh? I think I hear something. Chirp, chirp, so I was a father away from the poor hidden hmm? Next time I met the high school, even sneakier. Don't forget to come and find me again, yeah, chirp. They sound like that, like, bah, bah, why you sound like that? Oh, wait, upstairs. No, let's go. Okay, nothing here yet. Let's keep going. Enemies. But there's a puzzle right here I could do. 
No problem. Yeah, this thing, like, why not? That one seems white, unless I want. Mm, let me click them for puzzle piece. No, it doesn't seem white. Okay, see, this goes here. Yes, it does. I was right about that. Oh, yeah, this one too. This goes off here, and then this probably goes over here. So many white spots. Yes, it does. This one goes over here, and this goes over here. There was a chest right there that was hiding from me. I mean, if they ever attacking me. Okay, there was a chest right there. So if I get attacked, I get attacked. Like, whatever. Hey, what up? You came and fist me. You missed. I'm here for the chest more than fighting you people. You can't even hit me. Too slow. Open. Thank you. Eh hey, fucker. You can't even touch me. Alright, treasure room. So that's what it's called. Open the gate. Oh, Found yeah. It. This is it. Yeah, there are chest spawners there, yeah. <laughs> We've done this before. Eh? So let me collect them. There are some puzzle pieces. Some enemies, I will fight them, but no, I want to focus on something I want to get it done. That's one down. What's the next spot though? Oh shit. That one is like, I'm concentrating. <laughs> Gotta go with Jill because she's not even looking this way. Oh, you, I mean, you kind of were. <laughs> Gotta watch where I'm going because there might be some chests in this area I'm missing. Other than that, there's no chest here, you stop looking! Oh, I place down, down, and then puzzle. Now, oh, the statue here. We don't turn this? Do we turn this? I don't think so. Oh, wait, investigate the. Oh, puzzles. Oh, great, puzzles. Now, where did they go? There's one over there. Okay. Hey, look, a bud. Pull it. Really? Hey. Hey, fuck, I see you. Hey, hey, this way is nothing like the feeling to stand up part of the highest pitch up D, which is some of the highest pitch as well, huh, too? I think I hear something. Hey, hey, being the genius little bird I am, I shall call the face scene to you. No need to take me, chup. Very well, well, goodbye, I'm off to find my next soon, we chup. Okay, press it. There's only one. Where's the other one? It was only one missing. I was like so funny about that. But here you go, press this, and then. Press it down. Oh, look, a chest! Now I gotta press the button! So I got this, thought I was gonna oh my god, why am I here? Looking for chests with this dude? Well, I just wanna get this done, you know. Get this done. Hmm. Huh. So, we're supposed to go on that side too, and now I'm supposed to... Get back over there, and let me grab that real quick. I need this. There you go. Now I'm back up here, and then press to go this way next. Now there are enemies up there that I don't want to look at. They're all ugly. Ooh, don't want to deal with you. <laughs> Not even you either. No. Oh, you two. You just, you two just keep posing and looking at each other as if you're about to kiss. Oh, look at this. Is that a... Oh, never mind. Wait. What is that there? Oh, wait. I know why that's there. Probably some chests I gotta do. So I'm supposed to go here next for the chest thing over here? But then... What was I supposed to do? There's a bridge right here. What do you mean there's none? Oh, that's kind of freaky. Investigate. Huh. And the nameplate reads Gulliver's Arch. <laughs> well, I'm amazed you can remember something this tiny. You know, this reminds me of a tunnel I once saw that could shrink people who passed through it. If I were you, I would shut my mouth. Hey, shut the fuck it's up. It's wise to remain silent when you should. The two is turned to the lobby. Okay, go on. Turn to the lobby. It's like, okay, I did my job, now that's done, let's go place it down. It's a glue we all to the slot. Oh, this reminds me of one of those building toys. You know, with the blocks. 
I've never played with them before. I wonder if it's more interesting than stacking chips. Oh, look. The gap is closed. And it fits perfectly. <laughs> so, what's next? Hmm, it's a Sasuke. I gotta touch that? I mean, okay, I'm in. <laughs> oh, I'm small. Oh, good heavens. D did I drink? I am I still in a dream? Indeed. Oh, doctor, you're huge. It's me! Down here! In the, the sand pit! Oh, actually, I think we could make this work for us. Just find a way to slip me into Sunday's collar, and I'll infiltrate the family just like that. Oh, it was that simple, buddy. Oh, fine. I was just kidding. Let's find a way to open the door. Yeah. Oh my god, why does it look like this? Hold on, check this thing real quick. I'm just kidding the way it is, but I see a chest over there. Oh, no, it was anyway there. You know, I'm gonna go past, but- Oh, what? There's two of you! Hey, hey, don't shoot! Don't you shoot me, don't you shoot me. I'm just gonna run around these guys because why is the enemies around these little small parts? Can you guys not? Crocky! I can't do it. Enemies chasing me. I'll do it later. <laughs> oh, are you still chasing me? Wow, this guy's harassing me. I'm being harassed by a guard. Yeah, I'm gone. I'm gone. Yes, I am. I'm gone. You gonna go? You're going. You're going. God. Hey, look at chest. Yay! I found the oh, there's a puzzle piece right there. Hey, look at that. Look at the NPC. Oh, why is that on the ground just like that? That's hilarious. That was on the ground too. Why would you do that? <laughs> it's adult like T posing. That's hilarious. Hey, look, a post piece. Let me deal with that first and then I'm gonna move on. Most of them are kind of T posing. Now, this piece of the puzzle looks very interesting. Like this one goes here, and then this one goes here. This goes here. This goes here. Look at the colors carefully. You know where these goes. And then you'll figure it out like this one. And then this one. And then this one. Oh yeah. Now we found another piece of the puzzle. Now place that down. And then another chest around. Ooh, nice. We got some cheek puzzles to walk around with. Now we got like three of these we gotta go through. Oh my god. I mean, I don't mind doing this. We're so far away. I'm gonna start with the closest to the farthest. I see a chest over there. Hello! Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. That's so good for you to stand there like that. I am an oak soldier. I will be here to guide you through the tour of the base model. Happy to be of service. Tell me about the god toy. Hmm. And tell me about the tour. Hello! Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. <gasps> I am an Oak Soldier. I will be here to guide you through the tour of the. Oh base my model. God! Do like tour? <laughs> uh, give it a kick. Model, happy to be of service. I just kept in your balls. You're still okay. Generating guide. Please wait patient. <laughs> This voice is not okay. There's something wrong with your AI voice. Oh my god. Kick it! Found the nearest check in spot. Please look behind me. A capsule machine model. Model. After screaming, the sort of claps. He didn't even have time to earn the fast side waiting from you. What's up with that? And now the family's toys are trying to frame me? I didn't do a thing to it, Doc. You've got to be my witness. <laughs> He's probably like, yep, I saw I it. I saw nothing. Oh, he probably can't see. Oh, that butt is big! Holy shit! Okay, moving on. Uh, I'm gonna check over here next. Oh, capsule machine. <laughs> There's no mechanism on the floor. Could there be one at the top? Doctor! Do me a favor. Oh, he's like, I got you. Oh, wow, look at that hand. So, 
So... Yeah, he had a favor. I was right. These models have interiors that look exactly like the real buildings. The only difference is that no one lives in them. Yeah, very Funny strange. that Sunday puts a miniature that makes him seem like a giant by comparison. I do that. Right where he can see it. First thing in the morning. Hey, hey, come on. <laughs> open, much. open with my money. Why won't this? I'm just kidding. This is doing anyways. No, we got one piece of puzzle done. Now, there's one more over there and I saw the chest. Let me go get rid of those chests. Just touching this one. Got that one done. Just... That one is walking like he's on Gmod broken down. <laughs> Hilarious. There's one back here apparently. And oh, no enemies. I mean, if they see me, I'll fight them first and then... Yep, I gotta fight them first. Hey, you fuckers! You looking? Well, who's eyes? Eyes? Who's eyes? Which one's eyes? I'm gonna guess your eyes. Boom! Okay, Adventuring is sign of use in the trial. There's no trial kill for Adventuring, so let's see how it goes. He is defense. In a single attack? I'm pretty sure I know how it looks like when he drops it down. <laughs> when he snaps his fingers. How's that hurt? Now swing at the ice sword that's frozen up. The Black Swan. GP on these two. Oh yeah, that hurts a lot, That'll doesn't take it? More than You're in boom, batch. boom, this one away. Now you're trying to fight back. Woohoo, he almost, he almost died. He's a cracked up. Ouch. Ooh, follow top of uh, adventuring. Oh, oh ooh, ooh, that's nice. You're dead, aren't you? This one, we're not done. Two guys who are weak as hell. I don't have a Kafka. <laughs> trying to close like me? You can't run. Can't do that. You can't close like me. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Alright, I'll call your bet. Alright, let's strike it down. <laughs> my turn. Alright, much. Uh go for this one. Black what would you oh, like to you the ill fate descend? Yeah. March is like the only one I could use for ice for the weakness. No dirty tricks, alright. Try to push my chest. Try that again. Yeah, you're frozen. Your head. <laughs> That's funny. He's like, hey, you put you all this much money, don't you? <laughs> Ouch. You can't run! Looks like I okay. got a Since you're frozen, I am going to use the my alt. Have been cast. How's your alt? Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Oh, use my kick his ass. Funny. Oh, there's a chest right here too. Hilarious. Okay, now I got this one. Oh, one of the and fragments then... flew upstairs. Oh wait. No, I'll need to use the pinball machine to flick myself up there. But it's tough. Let me get this bird first. A hey, little surprise for you, chub. Oh, you're not the only one. This gift isn't for you, chub. Why you all your My plan is ruined, chub. I have to go and find myself a new gift. Like, God damn it! What about the jigsaw puzzle first? Can we do that first? Or we're missing just one more. I'm gonna guess that we are, then apparently. So I'm gonna go ahead and just bounce myself up here. <laughs> Oh, great. There's another pinball machine base here. And it's empty, too. Doc! I'll need your brain power again. There's no need to yell, I can hear you. The pinball machine must be hidden somewhere in the hall. Like the arch. Wait here, and I'll be back in a minute. He just dishes him. Like, fuck you, I don't need you. <sighs> Finally, a moment of peace. Look at all these birds we found so far. It's crazy. No, I'm not Dr. Rachel for this part of the story. Like, oh my god, this guy's annoying. Like, look at the lot. He's so annoying. What am I even doing with this dude? Now, with the girls, kind of, oh, oh, yeah. Let me. I gotta kill these guys! I mean, sure, and blow my muscles! Hey, look at that! Lee boom! Get off his you all! Check out this awesome move! Go ahead, Marge. Freeze them all! Woohoo, it's nice. 
Uh, and let's check this one Sick. down. Uh, I these guys is annoying. I'm gonna fight two of them out there. Would you like to know the feel of ill fate? Yes. And then choke them. Beneath the silent waters slides an endless abyss. <laughs> did explode. Nice. Nap time. Twelve was enough. Black Swan, thank you, and then use that double attack. Now let's do a test. Never stop thinking. 15k, holy shit. I mean, he's a child killer, so of course he'd be stronger. Two LB. Oh, these are big ones. Bonk you. I told you I could fight. Hey, you're next. Ooh. Blast me away. Destiny's course is becoming uh, apparent. Let's do a little bit. Ill tidings manifest. Away. <laughs> Time for a you down. Now right back to you. Hmm, let's do a test about 100% of you. Test your knowledge. Fail. Get out. Yeah, like fuck off. Destiny's course is okay, becoming the seal of ill fate. Descend. You're almost dead, hey, come on. Stop hitting her, she's getting stronger every minute to do that. Is that like dangerous to sharpen the edge? Probably it is. SAS Perkippi. No, I'm gonna give you this. Knowledge is the measure of all things. It reveals truth and falsehood. Ooh, 9k, I mean, that's okay. No big deal. Never stop thinking. Zero points. Next. He's like, fucker. <laughs> the kissing of boobas. The more the more nipples get hard. Okay, she's gonna die real soon. I'm gonna shrink this one. Fail. Get out. That's so awesome. The thread here. All yours. Not bad. Yourself. <laughs> you really need it. Bonk the book. Oh, well, that's done. Uh, unless there's one enemy that's still woman. You're just standing there. I saw this while I was here. Pleasant moments of solitude are always fleeting. Oh yeah. Hey, I killed your friends. Do you know that? Okay, we are back. Oh, you're back. Just place it here. Thank you. Place the ball in the transcript. And he smashes at him by accident. He's like a giant. Oh my god. Thanks, Doc. <sighs> okay, we can't even see where he is. I hope about that bag, bud. Go inside. Oh, puzzle time. Activate. Let's go that way. And then this needs to rotate this way. And this needs to rotate. Uh, wait a minute. What? Hold up. So, if it's not that way. Oh, I see it. I see it! I didn't notice that. I didn't realize there's some blind spot I didn't notice. And then you gotta go that way. And then you gotta go that way. Complete. Like, I'm about to feel sick. <laughs> there's a chest. Oh, that's the other side. Okay. Um, oh, look at that buzz. It's probably stalking me. Oh, you should come in here and take a look. The view here is breathtaking. Honestly, you could easily squash me with just a pinch. If that is your wish, I will do so without a moment's hesitation. He's like, wait, no, 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 I was kidding. Another butt. There you go. And if you can eat off. Hop? I swear, go jump high. This, this bud! The most annoying thing about Baka Buzz is that you can't explain explain the cause of in Baka Bird to a damn chub. We have always found each other tenuous. It's just the disease of stupidity is spreading throughout 
Jamesville. Jamesville needs a bird that will take a stand, spread knowledge, and nourish a stubborn disease. This is right. I shall be the one to do so. I'm the truth bird, Chub. This is the bird, not you, Songwill? Chub, Chub, come and follow the first set of words with me. The path to understand the truth to seek the lawn, Chub. If your mind has not yet been opened, come and find me the great tree. If I find all of them, what does that do exactly? Now this opens. It opens. Uh, hold on. Piece of cake. I'm going back down, aren't I? I mean, yeah, it seems like that. And then that's be this. And I got. Wait, what about? Okay, I'm going around apparently. I mean, okay, why not? Since I, I, no, I'm going back. Send me back down. Don't want to be there. That was a joke. And bounce back. Okay, now we get the puzzle piece now for a way out of here. It seems more closer than you thought. Do this. Um, yes, we heal and over here. And the joyous tour of Toy City has come to an end. Hmm, makes me feel sad. Hmm, Panacone isn't all bad, right? <laughs> I'll use this interesting experience as a talking point at the poker table. I mean, wouldn't they be suspicious? Like, huh? How you do that? Because I, t I just told you. The yeah, some NPCs here are just walking like idiots. Okay, I'm back. Oh my god, oh my god, I feel so dizzy. Kind of. I'm good. Don't worry. It's a pity you made it out of the sand pit alive. You have not died! Sunday is just beyond this door. From my limited understanding, he's not someone easily handled. Are you prepared? Yeah. Only I believe he's the one who should be prepared to face me. Tell me about your plan. I don't have a plan. I'll just play it by ear. There are only two kinds of bargaining chips when dealing with people. Benefit... or fear. Looks like sincerity isn't in your dictionary. Am I not sincere enough? <laughs> There's no need to emphasize it. We've got to make good use of death. That man's sister is dead. He won't be able to turn a blind eye, and that's fear. And I'll help him find the murderer. He can't do it due to his status and position, but I can. And that's... benefit. On what basis do you believe he's incapable? Necessitating the delegation to someone from a rival faction? The IPC? Simple. Because that murderer could very well be a traitor hiding inside the family. Uh -huh. um. Do you mean the Galaxy Ranger whom you accused previously? <laughs> that was just an excuse, good doctor. Oh, well. There's something wrong with that woman. We need someone who can keep her in check. It's better to minimize the variables outside our control while we execute our plans. Moreover, I need to know her identity. If I'm lucky. <laughs> she could be an important pawn. And it's good to have more helpful friends when dealing with this matter. But honestly, the murder case is likely unrelated to her. I believe my standpoint. There's a rat in the family. Otherwise, why would Mr. Sunday arrange a private meeting with us? This isn't an interrogation, but a secret negotiation. We'll see. Using Robin's death as a bargaining chip, I'll win back my freedom and power. In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death if the chance of winning is just beyond this door even if that chance is close to zero well <laughs> you can't win if you don't play right ah the charming audacity to think that you of all people might emerge victorious dear gambler three chips are enough all or nothing Okay, now we walk in with Dr. Wichio, who's leaving the question what we're gonna do next. Oh, I will heal. It seems my puzzles are too effortless for you, IPC Ambassador. I appreciate your words. 
And I see you put a lot of effort into welcoming me, Mr. Sunday. However, this is no way to greet a guest. Well, this isn't an invitation, but a summoning. Before we speak, I need to test your character. I imagine this knowledgeable doctor friend of yours has been of great help, yes? Certainly. You ought to know this better than I do. He's already faithfully fulfilled his duties, hasn't he? Yes. The doctor has assured me of your noble character. He considers you, like himself, a virtuous person who can be trusted by the family. I have come to know you very well as a person, Mr. Aventurine. You're diligent, generous, and willing to cooperate. The fact that you succeeded in overcoming many obstacles just to meet me gave me the reason to believe in your wisdom and courage. But there's one thing I must ask you. That is, you've used your wisdom at the wrong place to meet the wrong person and put yourself in a situation where you shouldn't be witnessing a tragedy that shouldn't have happened. Oh, you don't look too well. Am I making you anxious? If not, then it means I'm on your side. If I wasn't mistaken, You'd just made a serious accusation against the family. No, you weren't mistaken. For depravity is creeping in around you. There's no need for us to be evasive. Let's talk about your sister. Your sister's talent is unrivaled in the world of show business. As you know, her voice has been out of tune since she returned to Penicone. What's more disheartening... She can't sing anymore. Who could be responsible for this? Many suspect the culprit is among the outsiders, but I know... You hold a different opinion. Now your noble status has become a shackle, preventing you from apprehending the murderer and avenging your sister's death. You're feeling anxious because you're out on a limb. But don't worry. I'm on your side. I'm immensely honored by your concern for me, Mr. Aventurine. Since you're so selfless and generous, I believe you wouldn't ask for anything in return, would you? Well, naturally, you wouldn't incur any loss from this. I just want to reclaim what is mine. My liberty and the personal items under the family's custody, the bag of gift money, and... The box in which the cornerstone... That's right. Cornerstone. I've heard it's a treasured asset of the Strategic Investment Department. A sacred stone that seals the Preservation Emanator, granting significant power. And every liquidation specialist holds one. For an object so precious, it probably comes at an even higher price than other forms of recompense. Well, I'm sure you're aware of the high level of risk I'll be undertaking to bring the truth to light. Mr. Aventurine, when you are out and about, do you always make adjustments to your appearance? Your tie should be on the center line. Your shirt must not protrude from your vest. Your trouser creases should be perfectly straight and always aligned with the tips of your shoes. Of course. But I don't, because it's not appropriate to do so in public. You should make sure everything is presentable and in order before leaving the house. I'm not the kind that takes risks. The cornerstone must be in the custody of the family. No room for negotiation. Please, don't let me turn you down twice. Sure. The gift money is good enough. I suppose you wouldn't mind that. After all, a merchant can't function without a bargaining chip. You compromised quicker than I thought. Unfortunately, it's a gambler that needs a bargaining chip, not a merchant. I can give you your gift money. But before that, I want you to tell me. Okay, what's up? The fact that you can decisively forsake the box you asked for? What exactly is stored in it? Oh, triple-faced soul, please sear his tongue and palms with a hot iron, so that he will not be able to fabricate lies and make false vows. <laughs> What have you done? Under the light of the harmony, all wickedness is revealed. 
I implore them to shed their light, and I'll ask you questions on their behalf. Next, you have 113 seconds to prove your innocence and gain my trust. So that's how this to be a harmony user. They'll make you say the truth. And if I refuse to answer? You can try. And we'll see if the harmony rejects you. <laughs> Question. Do you own a cornerstone? Yes. What a simple answer. You, too, understand that idle chatter leads only to poverty. Did you hand over the cornerstone to the family when you entered Panacone? Yes. Does the cornerstone you handed over to the family belong to you? Yes. Is your cornerstone in this room right now? Yes. Is your memory free from any kind of tampering or deletion? Encompassing, but not restricted, to the techniques of the Garden of Recollection? Yes. Are you an Avgen from Sigonia? Yes. You even know about that? Do the Avgens have any ability to read, tamper with, or manipulate one's own or another's mind? No. Does it matter? Do you love your family more than yourself? Yes. All the Avgens were killed in a massacre. Am I right? No. Are you your clan's sole survivor? <sighs> Do you hate and wish to destroy this world with your own hands? I don't know. Interesting. Now, the final question. Okay, what's up? Can you swear that at this very moment, the Aventurine Stone is safe and sound in this box? like we can get an answer. Open it, Mr. Aventurine. It's your last chance to defend your honor. Okay, I'm doing it. Smug. Are these what you're looking for? <laughs> like my balls. Seven seasons hours ago, Twilight Pavilion. Since you came as promised, learned doctor, does this mean that you are willing to take the side of the family in this farce? What makes you think you can convince me? I've heard you haven't enjoyed Mr. Aventurine's company. I also understand that you're an avid learner who sees the pursuit of knowledge above all. In that case, you ought to realize that a competent scholar knows their position and wouldn't forsake more vital matters for the sake of petty pride. If you agree to assist the family, I'll share our research findings on the Stellaron. You must be quite aware that, besides the family, no other faction is willing to share such information. Hmm. Cut to the chase. What do you need from me? I need Mr. Aventurine's comprehensive plan. Haven't you confiscated his cornerstone? You can't expect a featherless bird to take flight. But I've also heard the ten elites in the strategic investment department have united, progressing together in the interests of the IPC. You'll have to speak more clearly than that. <sighs> the cornerstone, which Mr. Aventurine surrendered. Was it really his? <laughs> You question whether he would entrust you with someone else's cornerstone. The Ten Stonehearts aren't as united as you think. 
Cornerstones are significantly more precious to them than their very own lives. But you know that he's a crazed gambler. The more vocal he is about it, the more cautious I must be. I never imagined someone would share his way of thinking. Honestly, you should see a shrink. Bring it. The box containing the cornerstone is unique, and only IPC senior staff and related members can access it. But I happen to be among them. <laughs> I appreciate it. Unfortunately, your guess is correct. <laughs> the Golden Stone. Its color and glow are similar to that of Klepoth's body. This is the very ruse he intends to use to fool you. He won't reveal to you that the Ten Stone Hearts chisel their own will into the cornerstones, granting them an unparalleled radiance. And this golden statue is also known as Topaz, not Adventurine. And it belongs to Topaz. So, do you wish to confront him? Uh, not at the moment. I'm more interested to know the location of his cornerstone. The safest place somewhere you'd never think of. Because he never intended to hide it. In fact, that cornerstone has been in your hands from the very beginning. The blue one. I see. Or green. This bag. Mixing a cornerstone, more precious than life itself, with a bunch of worthless jewels, disguised as a gift of money waiting to be confiscated is indeed in line with Mr. Aventurine's style. Then he makes up some trivial excuse, downplaying the matter and requests the gift money. This is a gamble, one he's all too familiar with, betting on your single misstep, leading to a total loss. Learn it, Doctor. I am grateful for your help. The family will surely reward a righteous person like you. As for the villain, <laughs> I hope he retreats in humiliation. Hmm. It was all thanks to your friend with a keen eye that I could add a blot of utter failure to your storied career. <sighs> Ratio, you rat. <laughs> Finally shown your true colors, huh? Oh, and just to remind you, you currently only have 17 system hours left to live. Treasure your remaining time, and savor the delectable aftertaste of defeat. <sighs> you might as well explain yourself a little more clearly. What I performed on you just now was the Harmony's consecration. You were to show allegiance beneath the illumination of their grace. Yet you acted willfully, uttering nothing but falsehoods, transforming the consecration into a trial. I genuinely see no reason to absolve you from it. <laughs> is this what the Harmony represents? But is it built upon constraint and coercion? <laughs> you misunderstand, Mr. Aventurine. Punishment is meant for the irreverent. But I have seen your resilient spirit, and thus I offer you the possibility of a new beginning. Throughout these 17 system hours, you will be unable to escape the dreamscape, or contact any of your companions. You only have two paths before you, and it all depends on whether you can complete my test within the time limit. Should you succeed, you will be able to coalesce into the Harmony and be with your family. If you fail, you will suffer the wrath of the Eternal Centurion and fall into an abyss of doom. <sighs> oh, sounds like I'm gonna end up the same either way. I indeed do need a servant to help me uncover the evil hidden in the family from an external perspective. 
I will purge the evil from the inside and bring the real culprits to justice within 17 system hours. When the time comes, compare your findings with mine. If both our findings align, or if you can provide me more insights, then they will truly be able to grant you mercy and honesty. Shameless hypocrites. You took everything from me and still demand the truth? That isn't fair. Your carnival reeks with a stench of cash. Nothing is achievable without it. This is meant to be an act of personal virtue, not requiring the family's support. Your bag is over there. Do as you please. I believe you can trade this bag of worthless jewels for everything you need. That's what gamblers excel at, isn't it? <laughs> Off you go, Mr. Aventurine. You are free. I will wait here for your good news. This meeting isn't an interrogation or a negotiation. It's an outright execution. <laughs> Why would I do that, Mr. Aventurine? I'm just wondering what a passerby who stumbled upon a scene of a murder could have found out. That's all. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. What is it now? You... Do you truly wish to bring about the destruction of this world? Kakavisha! Where did you go? Oh, are you injured? I got it back, sister. You went to look for them? That's too dangerous. It's just a necklace. It's neither food nor water. We can survive without it. I can't live without you, little brother. Promise me not to look for those catechins again, okay? Sister, don't be afraid. The catechins are fools, but I'm smart. I played a game with them, and I won. Won? What happened exactly? Tell me. I made a bet with them. The two birds in the desert and me. Who will die first? I won. They suspected me of cheating, but I didn't. I won fair and square. <laughs> of course. Of course you'd win. You've always been a lucky child. Gayathra Triclops must be watching over you. But that's no reason to push your luck by going up against those... those bloodthirsty, cruel catechins. Have you forgotten how Mom and Dad... Look, this is just a necklace. But Kakavasha, you are my only family. <sighs> I'm sorry, sister. I thought you'd be happy. Because mom left you this necklace. There'll be no next time. It is important, but not as important as you, my dearest brother. I, I don't blame you, but you must remember what mom said. Pain and poverty are the trials of Gyathra Triclops. She has also granted us a chance. And that's your good luck, Akavasha. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Avgen have. You're a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. All right? Listen to me and swear to Gyathra Triclops. Okay. Will swear to Gyathra Triclops to protect this wealth. But sister, if Gyathra Triclops was really watching over us, then why did she not protect Dad when he was swept away by the quicksand? After all, Dad went to the Catechins' land only to prepare for Gyathra Triclops' offerings. And where was Gyathra Triclops when Mom was shivering in our arms? Mom was still pleading for Gyathra Triclops' forgiveness under her breath. The moment she closed her eyes. Sister, everyone praises me for being smart, but I don't get it. If every rain pour was Gyathra Triclops' forgiveness and grace, then how bad were our sins? So much so that we were born in this world of death? Hmm, yeah, back to me. Um, 
Excuse me, I can't seem to find any information on this artist in the Iris family archives. The photo you provided also doesn't show any matches. Hmm, just as I thought. I'd like to ask, what kind of traces do people leave when they enter a dream? Are you referring to the records when you enter the dream pool? The equipment will monitor physiological indicators, such as heart rate, blood oxygen levels, and body temperature in real time. This data will be included in statistics and handed over to the family for the screening of any data anomalies. Immediate action will be taken once any illegal behavior is detected. Hmm. Hmm, feels like Ivy Move is being watched. Please, rest assured. Your vitals are monitored in case of emergencies, allowing us to wake you if necessary. This is all for the safety of our guests. Can I trouble you to access the records? I apologize. The hotel does not have access. This information is managed by the Bloodhound family. We can only gain access if there's a problem. Looks like nothing can be found here. At least we know who to look for next. We can ask the Bloodhound family for information. Thank you for your assistance, Miss Allie. By the way, is Miss Robin doing fine? We are looking forward to her performance. Fine? What does that mean? Is there something wrong with Miss Robin? The preparations for the Charmony Festival have been proceeding smoothly. So, I guess things are pretty good. I believe she will be able to put on a spectacular show for all of you. Hmm, I'm sure. I don't think they know what's going on. Sure enough, no one knows about Miss Robin. I'm not surprised. Exactly. But that Miss Firefly is truly mysterious. There's no information on her in the hotel system. Even if she's a stowaway, she should have a disguised identity after entering the planet. She's also in the running for the legacy. How is she going to sneak into the dreamscape unnoticed? Uh, is there any other way to enter a dream? Besides the hotel room's dream pool? Hmm. Stella von Hunter. The memo keepers have abilities that are difficult for normal people to comprehend. In the memory zone of Penacony, they thrive effortlessly. A fact proven to us by Black Swan. The hacker girl from the Stellaron Hunters used extraordinary means to unlock the Dreamscape Hotel's seal. According to the scene witnessed by him, it is likely that they are behind Miss Firefly's case. The Garden of Recollection and the Stellaron Hunters. Both are possible, but what about the IPC? Since they want Penacony all for themselves, they're bound to have a plan. <sighs> Who are you guys? Huh? What do you mean by that? The Bravo team has arrived at their designated position. Ready to execute armed evacuation operation. Boss, get moving. Uh, uh, armed evacuation? Boss, aren't you drunk? How can you drunk if you're a robot? What do you know? It's more efficient this way. Just don't let the director find out. Act first, report later. Understood. Help! Help me! I spent all my year-end bonus on the snowball! I don't want my name on the department's major disciplinary notice! Hey, check it out! That place! Could it be the IPC workers from Bellabog? I mean, yeah. To all guests! The IPC will be conducting special operations within the hotel. Please follow the staff in charge of evacuation to the designated safe zones, or compulsory measures will be enforced. I'll request a beating for you lot! Tall pass? Not to drink during work hours. Take him back to the hotel room. I'll organize a meeting later to properly go over how this incident report should be written. I expect Topaz be you. Topaz? I never thought I'd run into you on Penacony. <sighs> oh, long time no see, Astral Express crew. Venturine has told me a lot about your happenings. Huh? <sighs> it's fine. Do as I ask and try to avoid any conflicts with the family. Report to me before taking any action. Yes. All right. As you see, the IPC isn't very popular here on Penacony. 
Cordiality from the family is a mere facade. The former Frontier prison has turned around and cuffed its shackles on the IPC stuff now. Only a Venturine, who carries an invitation, is allowed to attend the banquet. An entourage like us, we can only sit around in the Reality Hotel, unauthorized to even enter dreams. No wonder a Venturine's scrambling to partner up with someone. The IPC can't back him up in the dreamscape. His situation isn't optimistic, I hear. You're all helping to investigate some dirt on the family, are you not? Let me know if you need anything outside the dreamscape. The IPC always treats its partners well. Thank you, Miss Topaz. We're on our way to the Hounds to verify some intel. Perhaps you've had dealings with them? <laughs> yep. They're tailing us right now. Why not go and talk to them? They don't take the spotlight off me. Being constantly stared at is really uncomfortable. Oh, well, this thing at your boobas? Oh, well, I'm gonna bail. Last subscribe, I'll see you later. Sorry.